Here we go. Okay, in this drill, uh, we're going to work in a way on taking a snap from a center, which is the other quarterback throwing to you, and getting ready and then throwing. To get ready means we have to take a snap, we have to turn and get into the ready throwing position, we have to get our hands on the ball. We want to go as fast as we can, but we can't miss any steps. We have to be perfectly ready, then we'll throw it back and the other quarterback will turn and get ready. All right. So he gets ready, we catch, we get a grip on it, we turn, we throw it back. Ready? And we learn to turn right away and get ready quickly. So I'm catching and I'm turning right away, get a grip on it and throw. Good. All right, so now we know a little bit. Watch how fast we go, but we still are always ready. And the next key development is when we get that ball, we should feel where the laces are and not have to look at it to get a grip. So watch how we don't look at the ball when we're getting ready to throw. When I don't have the first catch, I just do a little snap, turn and get ready, and throw, move in a bit, can't move in the step. Okay, so, ready. He doesn't look at the ball in any way. He's always looking downfield because that's where the receivers are. We throw. Watch how we start turning even as the ball's coming in. So I'm catching, I'm already turning. If it's a good snap, then I'm ready to throw. This is called ready throw. Just turn, Kent, don't turn back, just turn. Good, ready, throw. One of the most important things is to get a quarterback comfortable with catching the snap and getting ready to throw. The defense doesn't have to worry about a throw if you're not ready. If I didn't turn, I can only throw there to my left. I can't throw strong to my right. When I turn, I'm ready to throw anywhere on the field. So just have fun getting ready to throw, learning how to get that grip without looking at it. The next thing we're going to do is the same drill, but instead of worrying about the laces, we're just gonna worry about the ball being in the right curve of the ball. All right, so this feels like a perfectly normal grip to me, except the laces aren't here. That spin slows you down. Sometimes you wanna throw the ball even quicker. So in this drill, we're gonna not worry about getting the laces, but we do wanna have the right feel um, sometimes the laces come up perfectly. Other times you can get it away faster by not worrying about it. So you start, turns, here, turn, we'll do it slow motion through, catch, turn, doesn't worry about the laces. There's where the laces are. I'm not worrying about them, turn and throw. You can throw pretty darn well without the laces. So in this drill, as we get better, you can get even faster. Watch how fast we can get ready and throw. Turn, fully turn, good. Again, you could do this in your house with a tennis ball, a little ball, down in the basement, in the backyard. All right, so that's a really nice drill. Now we're going to add another key piece. You heard me mention earlier that we have to keep our eyes downfield to see where the receivers are. We're going to make sure the quarterback's eyes are downfield. After the quarterback throws the ball to the other quarterback, he's going to hold up a hand with zero to five fingers. And the other quarterback, while getting ready to throw, has to call out how many fingers. This is a nice drill because it makes both quarterbacks have to be doing something. One's catching and getting ready to throw. The other one's holding up fingers. You have to call it out before you throw. We're going to do this drill with getting a grip on the ball with laces, and then we're going to do it again without uh, laces where you really have to be thinking to stay on top of it. All right, so I start with it. Ken holds up a hand, five. 
Five. Zero. Three. Two. Five. One. Three. Four. Five. Zero. He didn't look. Four. So you see how it's hard to stay on top of it. Three. One. One. Four. Two. Five. Five. One. Five. Two. Four. All right. So now we're going to do the no grip. And the quarterbacks really have to be mentally engaged because the moment you throw it, <clears throat> you have to be holding up your hand for the other quarterback to read. Very nice drill for really being engaged, physically doing some things and throwing and getting ready, but also engaging your mind to have to call something out. Here we go with no grip. All right, so when I throw it up, you're putting your hand up. Three, two, three, one, one, five, Three, four, one, two, four, zero. Three, four, one, two, four, four. I said I read wrong. One, two. I keep getting a grip. I don't want a grip. Three, three, two, two. So those are some great drills to really get ready to be a quarterback and it's all about getting ready, keeping your eyes downfield uh, and thinking a little bit and then making a nice throw.